Gardasil 9 has the potential to prevent more cancers is really the big deal. So there are about 35,000 HPV related cancers in the United States every year and this would prevent about 90% of cervical cancers. So a, a big percentage of those HPV related cancers would be prevented by this newer version of the vaccine. The version that's currently approved and would be in your doctor's office has four types of HPV in it and the reason this one's called Gardasil 9 is it has nine types in it. So it would be five extra cancer causing types. And each of those contribute about two to 5% to cervical cancer, as well as preventing PAPs that are, PAP smears that are precancerous. The current recommendation is that it should be part of the adolescent vaccine. So there's a whooping cough vaccine, a men meningitis vaccine, as well as this vaccine that we ought to be giving to 11 and 12 year old uh, you know, in their early teens, boys and girls both. So uh, then we have what we call catch-up period that goes clear up to age 26. Uh, everybody that's got vaccinated with the old version is fine. We know that it lasts for several years and, and maybe even decades. So uh, the newer version will be rolled out in 2015 and it'll be given to those candidates as well as the people we missed, you know, when they were, when they were 11 and 12 years old. It's certainly part of routine recommendations. So requirements differ from state to state and only two states have made it a school requirement. And so uh, it's hard to know. I mean, that's usually decided individually, but the, the real reason you should get this vaccine is it's cancer prevention.